All right, cute stuff. So I heard clearly that somebody is so nosy right now, okay? They all up in your business. They know more about your life than you know. You get what I'm saying? It's like they got some sort of news reports on your life here. Unless you don't want reporting it, boo. You may be reporting it. But I feel like there's somebody that knows more about what you got going on than what you got going on, okay? They they worried about what you got going on. They asking a lot of questions. They investigative, okay? They, they round about looking for information here. And ultimately, I feel like this is somebody that's got to be bored with their life because if they sitting here focused on every intricate detail of your life, what that means is they're not focused on their life, okay? And one thing I do know because I researched insecurity this week is somebody that's always focused on somebody else's life and not theirs is a very insecure individual, okay? And so they have no confidence in getting their life together. So what they're going to do is focus on your life and be nosy on what you got going on okay but we're gonna find out more here what's the word from spirit about this nosy ass individual with me duchess in this general collective reading that means take what resonates leave what doesn't behind for whoever the hell is for no it's not a personal reading so don't even okay if you want one though you can book with me linked below in the comments or the description box hunty now let's go ahead and see more about this spirit tell us about this nosy ass individual we got here the nine of cups okay we got here the strength we got here the happy squirrel okay we got here the four pentacles see this is somebody here who feels like you got something good going on hmm for some of you this could be somebody that you working with or somebody that's nosy about what you working towards what you got going on here because it's saying here that you got either some wish fulfillments or this person's perception is that your life or what you got going on is they wish fulfillment somehow there's a perceptions of wish fulfillments here okay either you really got it or they think you got it okay and so spirit is saying here it's taking them a lot of strength here to stay happy around you so we see where their nosiness is coming from it seems like a little envy and jealousy honey okay they need to know and they need to be involved somehow some way okay so with that being said here spirit is saying that this person is holding on in certain ways that's unhealthy that's going to be creating friction here in y'all's connection or creating friction in your life because they holding on to the wrong things which is your your life okay they holding on to this i remember this was something here my ex-business partner was reporting my stats back to me before i knew the stats and i thought it was real suspicious which it was because a lot of stuff came out like that but yeah when people was nosy like this it's because they not happy with themselves okay so there's something here with this person has a lot of inner conflict and they don't like the things that you're working towards or they're really in awe or they're really just too consumed with it or like i said this could be somebody that you actually work with here mm. tell us more here spirit about this nosy individual we got a queen of cups the death card <laughs> The King of Swords, Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords. Mm. So Spirit is saying here that it's important for you to really follow your intuition here when it comes to this person, okay? And that you need to transition or handle this connection in a way that the energy is a King of Swords energy, okay? So we got this Queen of Cups, which is you being intuitive, and then this King of Swords, which is you being very intelligent okay on how you handle this individual intelligent means you're removing emotions here out of it and you're turning your back on certain things and you're ending this energy of them feeling like they overly involved in your life and that everything involves them mentally no whoever this person is there's some sort of it's like some sort of barrier that you're going to be creating here between you and them and this could be an actual barrier between you and them or this could be a barrier between them and your your business okay but there's something here where there's this element of needing to create a barrier with this person because they're overly involved in something that has nothing to do with them keep going spirit tell us more here about this nosy individual here mm. 
So this is somebody here that wants to create doubt within you. Yeah, okay. They want to create doubt within you, and this is part of them being nosy, okay? It's like they're looking for something to nitpick on. And I feel like, again, because they feel like things are going your way, even if you don't perceive it that way, they perceive it that way. And so it's saying here that when it comes to you following through, go, following through or going towards things that you really love or that fulfill you, this person wants to create an element of risk here, okay? And that ultimately their energy is to transform what you find as being stable into something unstable. They want to create instability here. And so spirit is saying here that it's going to be up to you to keep balance here and not allow these changes to happen. So it's like this person is nosy, but as with all nosy people, it's usually because there's some sort of motive involved here. And this person's motive is to really keep you in a position that they feel is is congruent to what they want for you okay or what they feel is equal or lesser to what they got going on okay tell us more here spirit about this nosy individual tell us more okay okay i love it so spirit is saying here <laughs> that you're gonna be persevering here Okay, you're going to be persevering against being in service here to this person's nosiness. They're saying here that ultimately <laughs> you're going to end up forgiving this person, but forgiving doesn't mean letting them in your business. No, okay, it means accepting that this person has messed up motives, whether it's intentional or unintentional, and then refraining from giving them the access to be able to step into your business, okay? You're forgiving this person for, for all the attention that they're giving you here. Because Spirit is saying, in a sense, for some of you, this ain't everybody. You might kind of even like, oh, they ask me all these questions. Oh, they so interested. Oh, they want to help me. Oh, they want to know this. But it's really because they're trying to give you bad advices, okay? And people need to understand that people do this all the time. This is not uncommon a lot of times people think just because someone is listening and giving advice that they have positive intentions but a lot of people listen and give advice with negative intentions because they don't want to see you elevate they don't want to see you leave okay they don't want to see things change and transform so they try to create stagnation and blockages and that's the method here and the mode for this nosy ass individual Spirit is saying here that this is someone that poses as being someone that you could, again, have in some sort of unit as like a friend, a family member. But you really need to be de defending yourself from overly communicating with this person your plans, your aspirations. Because as you do this, they plan to inflict or create some sort of doubt, hmm, some sort of blockage. If there's other people involved, like say it's family, they could use other people as either uh, pawns or flying monkeys if they narcissistic, honey, okay? They use other people then to, in, like, um, to basically, I'm trying to say, what's the right word? Uh, insinuate, okay, <laughs> that they're correct. Insinuate the same thing. It's some sort of mind game. This is why I had to cut my whole family off because you wasn't going to use this person, that person, and this person try to play mind games. I'm not paying attention to none of y'all now. So mind games over. Game over, hunty. Okay? And nobody knows my business less what you see online, which ain't much personal. You're going to see some readings, baby. Okay? So at the end of the day, nobody can have nothing to say. Nobody can sabotage. Okay? Nobody can stop nothing. No. Mm -mm. So look, Spirit is saying that here, as you cut off this energy of allowing this nosy person to intrude in your life, you start really attracting what it is that you desire. And so this is something where it's like the cha-cha-cha. This was actually in one of the reels earlier today, but this is about handling situations carefully. Okay, so this may be a person that you have to handle carefully. You may have to outsmart them. Okay, you may have to <laughs> spirit is a grin without smarting them. Okay, please stand by. <laughs> you get this person away. Oh, yeah, eventually I'm gonna tell you. Oh, hold on, I gotta do this first. 
excuse me, there's something here about just putting off this person's questions, their advances, using deflection, change the subject, whatever it may be, okay? If you overly posting and sharing every good news, sometimes it's okay to celebrate alone. Everybody don't need to know every great news that you got because all they're going to do is hate and be passive aggressive about it, okay? So Spirit is saying here as you deal with this person, that you need to be looking at yourself in the mirror as well and see where you may be contributing to allowing them in your business or allowing them to overstep certain boundaries. Yep, that's the jackpot right there, okay? As you create the boundaries, as you no longer allow this, this is when things are really going to shift and change for your highest good because there's no distractions, no interruptions here, okay? None of this extra nonsense. You can focus, move forward, and get it done. Let's go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff. If you want to book with me or leave a donation, you can do that. Links below in the comments or the description box. Of course, boo, you can shop and get one of these cute angel number t-shirts. This is the 111, of course, but we got all the numbers, 222, the 333, the 444, etc., etc. We got a white version, we got black version, all kinds of cutesy designs. It ships hella quick, okay? Hella affordable comfortable ships internationally you want to check out that link below in the comments or the description box i'm gonna talk to you later bye